Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodreader.com. If you wanted a dedicated monitor, there's no shortage of companies in a business. LG, Samsung, Asus, and sky's the limit about how much you wanna pay. You could pay as little as $100 or multiple thousands of dollars if you're in the market for the Apple XDR display or the Apple Studio monitor, which I actually use. If you wanted an Eing monitor, well, there's only two companies really in the business that have done multiple generations. There's Onyx with the Mira and Mira Pro. Some of their other products actually have mini HDMI ports, which are plugged into your you know, uh, video card on your PC and giving you an Eing experience. Datsung is the other. They have their latest generation model, the Datsung 256, pretty expensive, it's a 25 inch monitor, and they actually have a curved version as well. They have previous generations like the Touch uh, HD and things like that, but if you wanted a color e-ink monitor, well, we all know that this is the holy grail. People have been begging companies for years to release an e-ink monitor with color technology. Well, Datsung has listened to our pleas and has blessed us with the paper-like color. This is going to hit the Indiegogo crowdfunding platform. This is what they have done with all their monitors in the past like six or seven years. It basically gives them a sense on how many people actually want to buy this. So when they actually do the manufacturing, they could say, okay, you know, 100, 200 people have, you know, pre-ordered it on Indiegogo and we'll make another, like we'll double or triple that for orders that are directly on our website or through distributors. Kaleido 3 Color E-Paper Display. It is 4,096 different colors. It's a 16.9 aspect ratio, a 3K high definition resolution. So they're basically saying that this is ideal for PDF files, magazines, newspapers, and anything that's gonna look good on color, like it's PDF files, web browsing, creative pursuits such as video editing, photo editing, this is actually gonna be great. So they have two different underlying technologies to turbo boost this device. The new one is called Dasung X Color Filter, which enhances color contrast, brightness, text clarity, and dynamic color effects. They also have what's known as their turbo high refresh technology. This has in, been in previous monitors, such as the aforementioned Datsung 256. So this is basically, they have two or three different modes. They're glorified A2 modes, if you've heard of that. It basically slightly degrades image quality for performance. So if you're launching Photoshop or doing video editing with Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, those are the types of modes that you wanna turn on so you actually get extra frames. Whereas if you're reading, you know, you kinda of wanna leave those refreshes off because you want to have the text as clear as possible. If you're browsing the web, if you're reading goodyreader.com, etc. So. Lots is not known about this. However, it does have a front light display and a color temperature system. So it has both white and amber LED lights. So you could actually use this day or night and blend the two colors together to give you a brilliant white screen. So think Kindle Paperwhite quality of illumination on your screen, but bundled on a 25 inch monitor. It's actually looking pretty cool. It has a dual band Wi-Fi on it as well, but this is the type of thing where you want to, you know, obviously have it plugged into your PC or into your Mac. That's where you're gonna find the most value. So Wi-Fi on it really doesn't make a big difference because like obviously as a monitor, you have to plug it into an HDMI port or to a display port. I think it has a USB-C port on it as well uh, for Macs. But aside from what I mentioned, there really isn't like a lot of things on their press release that they sent it over to me. They said it's gonna be available in 80 different countries. You can see from the video and pictures that we've seen so far that it looks really nice, like in terms of the industrial design, uh, the bezels look kind of like thin, so the only question that probably everybody has, how much is this gonna cost? Well, 
We don't know. Dasung really hasn't said when this crowdfunding page will go live, but I'll, you know, post you know, copy paste this into the description of this video so you guys can bookmark it and see when it goes live. It'll, you know, likely it'll be on Indiegogo for about like 60 to 90 days and then in, in demand. But on, you know, they also have their own e-commerce store where they'll sell it as well. Goody Reader will also sell it once it hits like outside of crowdfunding. So what do you guys think about the, the new Dasunk paper-like color? I mean, a full color monitor. If you've been waiting for this, this is probably the only chance that you're going to have probably in 2023. I don't know if Onyx will ever make a Kaleido 3 or a Gallery 3 second, you know, primary or secondary monitor. I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't really know. I know that they had the intention of doing a Kaleido 3 phone at some time or an, and a black and white phone sometime, but they kind of canceled those. So, you know, they have like the Palma which I guess was like a, they had like 250 that they made, which which it looked like a phone, but it was basically a phone-sized e-reader. So this has been Michael with GoodyReader.com, and everybody take care.